this is Peggy, and I'm going to do a little series on uh, videos on my favorite things. Um, all day I've been singing that uh, song, um, I think it's from, um, oh, let me think, Mary Poppins. These are a few of my favorite things, but I'm not sure if that's it or not, so you, it doesn't matter. Anyway, I watch a video, a lot of videos, uh, from Jennifer McGuire, and get a lot of really awesome ideas from her, and she always does. It's uh, my crafty, my favorite crafty things. I think is what she calls it. So I decided I'm going to show you some of my favorite things because people say which one do you like the best in my classes. So today um, I'm going to start. I don't know how many there will be of these. And um, anyway, let's get started. My first thing I'm going to show you. It's not a Stampin' Up thing. It's from Crafters Companions. I get these online from Walmart. Believe it or not. And it comes, there's a case, and when you get the case, you get three of the um, panels in there. And anyway, let me just show you. This is how I store my dies. So there you are. And then you can put stamps on the back of here if there was a stamp that matched this, which I don't know if I did. I don't do that with my Stampin' Up, but I do that with my other companies. Um, but I take a black marker and write on the back, which I haven't done. This one is a pretty new die for me who it's from and the number like for Stampin' Up! I'll put the number on there. Now this is our curvy gift box that's available right now and it's only going to be available until January the 5th. It's in our um, Make It Fun holiday catalog and I, I don't know the prices. That's not something I memorize because I just don't. But you can find it in here somewhere. It's like 30 something dollars. Oh, here we go right here. Haha, -ha, I do have it right here. There it is right there. And it's on page 11 of your holiday book. And it's $32.95. There are a hundred a bazillion ideas on Pinterest. And I use Pinterest a lot for ideas. And my um, I call my sister Stampin' Up! Girls give ideas. So if you are into making gift boxes, I mean, they've got a Santa Claus, they've got a snowman, they've got pumpkins, just everything and anything you can think of, you can make with this. So that's how I store um, my dies. I used to do it in little packets, but I am loving, see, there's how I write on it. Of course, that one's upside down for some reason. It's because I have the whole thing upside down. Um, I haven't used this one yet. I'm really anxious to use this scallop. Um, it's got a uh, paper that you can use with it. So anyway, that's how I stay, store them, and that so far is my favorite thing to store dies in. So I like to keep this so I remember when I have to order more. So there's that. Now, um, one of the things that I like to show, Stampin' Up! has two different um, adhesives. This one, I love the Fast Fuse. The other one, I don't like it. It's up, down, thumbs down. I don't like it at all. Um, it doesn't hold stuff. This holds stuff, and that's what I want. So this is my favorite. Um, one of the new Christmas punches that I love, oh, that's going to glare bad, so let me do it this way, is the tree punch. And here's a couple of cards that I've made. This is just doing it with paper. And this is to go along with the stamp set. Let me pull that out. Um, called Festival of Trees. This was on back order forever because everybody loved it so much. And I plan on using it even in the spring because it's got different trees on there. And so that's what I plan. But I just love this. And so I just pulled out a couple cards that I've made for Christmas. And if you're wondering, this embossing folder I think is actually retired. It was the framed tulips. So, But the star, I actually just used a star punch. I didn't punch it. Uh, stamp it and punch it or cut it out. I just went ahead and used our little punch and did paper that I had laying there. So that's that. Now let me show you what else I did with that tree. I'm going to lay this off to the side because it glares. This is using a, a die set from a long time back from Sizzix that Karen Bernstein did. It was just called the Accordion Flip Album and these were the two pieces that you used. I don't know if you can still get that, but it's one of my favorite things and I can show you anyway. So this is cut off of my Cricut, which is my all-time favorite die-cutting machine. Um, I have hundreds of the um, cartridges and use it all the time. These, I think, were Hero Arts. But let's check out this card. There you go. Isn't that cool? Now, this Karen Bernstein did one similar. She used, um, I think, her die cuts for trees. But I thought, you know what? You can use all of your stuff, which is what I preach all the time in my classes. It doesn't always have to be all Stampin' Up! used together. It can be used everything. These little trees back here were cut from a little stamp, I'm sorry, a punch set. Um, mini sampler, mini Mary samplers, I think, from last year. But here are all those trees. So 
my husband said, who are you going to send that to? And I said, no one, I'm keeping it. All right. Speaking of stamping, this is my favorite, all-time favorite. I have the small one, which I'd love to find another one. I can't find it yet. And the bigger, it's the Fisker's Stamp Press. I absolutely love this thing. I love it more than I do those acrylic blocks. You put your stamp here, and then you just press down, and you get perfect every time. Love it, love it, love it. And I always use my stamp pad. you got to have a stamp pad. Some people use their... Uh, mouse pads, and I'm sure those work. I just bought one of these great big stamp pads, cut it in four, and I have one at every station. So there you go. Okay, that's that. Um, oh, yeah, in case you're wondering how I got all these dots, uh, it's from this set, Dotty Angles. Just like might like to know that. Okay, pressing on. That's the tree one. This is my most favorite flowers. I am not a huge flower person when it comes to making cards. I absolutely love flowers, but I don't seem to use flowers in, as much as I thought I would, but once I got this set along with the dies, oh my gosh, I use it all the time. Um, this set, what are you going to ask me? It's called Flower Patch, and these are called Flower Fair. That's the set, and it's, it's I just can't even begin to tell you how easy it is to use. You stamp and you cut and you're done, instead of doing all that fussy cutting, and this is my actually, I thought that's the one I used, but I didn't. This is the embossing folder that I use more than any of them because I love Swiss dots from Cuddlebug and I am loving the decorative dots from Stampin' Up. I like dots. I think it just makes a finishing touch on your card. So that's my favorite flowers and um, just awesome. And the stamps, I mean, they're really, and they're the clear uh, photopolymer. I guess I should show you that. And there they are. Can you tell I've used them? Yeah, I love those flowers. So you get all these different, oh, it's peeling apart. All these different ones. There you are. So lots and lots and lots of flowers you can do with these. <clears throat> and if you go to my blog, I've showed a lot of the cards that I've made using the flowers. So you can check that out. And I'll run that across the bottom what my blog is. Okay, showed you that, showed you that. Okay, the last one I'm good. Well, no, let me show you this. Let me find what I did with those cards. I just had them. Oh, here it is. Let me grab it. I love the hexagon punch and we have a honeycomb uh, embossing folder that matches but this shape was very popular last year in the beginning or this year actually in the beginning of the year and I love it because of the way you can stack them and there's a stamp set that goes with it um, it's, I can't think of the name of it right this minute. I'll run that across the bottom. But what I, I love punches because you can quickly do them. I have a Cricut. I could cut these out of my Cricut. I have an AccuCut machine that has a big die that I could cut out a bunch. But in a hurry, there you are, I'm done. So that's why this is one of my favorite shapes to use for cards. It's the hexagon. So, And this is a card I did a long time ago. I just pulled it out just to show you. Now, this is so funny. My mother bought this punch, God rest her soul, um, and I laughed, I said, I don't even like owls, that's not my favorite bird, I'm not crazy about owls, but if you go on Pinterest, oh my word, oh my word, people out there, you guys are just too stinking smart, I'm telling you, and I love it, because you share it with me, so, uh, when my mom passed away, I was, you know, have to go through all their stuff, which is a bummer, but anyway, I found that stamp, and it, I just started laughing, thinking, oh my gosh, she still has that silly owl, punch what in the world so I brought it home laughing all the way that I made fun of her for getting it and now here I am using it let me just show you again these ideas are not mine they're from Pinterest I took their ideas this is that pop-up box card check this out is that too stinking cute now the woman did I had to change it because I didn't have the exact stamp she had but there's that darn owl and all you had to do was cut his ears off and and there you go and he became a penguin now I'm liking it. Every time I use it, I like it a little bit more. So don't laugh at your mom or your friends for buying weird punches because is that too stinking cute? And back here I embossed, I don't know if you can really see that or not, with the uh, uh, decorative dots. And this is from an old, old, oops, it got blurry on me, an old, old set of Stampin' Up. And I wanted to use a lot of bling and I got rid of them. So there you are. So there's the side. And this is um, the uh, label punch. I told you I love punches. And then just that side. And I, I think this is, um, I don't even know whose stamp that is. I don't know. I just pull them out and use it. So there is my faux, I'm going to call it a faux owl card. So there you are. Too cool. 
And you can get directions on that on the internet, I'm sure, because that's where I got it on Pinterest. Then, because I love those darn penguins so much, again, I used Karen Bernstein's um, album, accordion album, and I did this one. Oh, let me grab hold of it. There we go. Isn't that too stinking cute? Oh, my gosh. So, let me show you what I got here. This is an old Stampin' Up! A snow punch. This is from a set that I got before I was even a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Went to one of those meetings and you paid a certain amount and then you got that. Here's the tree punch and the tree stamp. Of course, there's the owl. Then over here is the wreath. And I thought I brought that over that. I love this set. I've got to show you that. Um, it's really cool because there's a die that goes with it. And it has now they put this little um, thing at the top where you can match it up and it's perfect. So there it is. Happy Christmas. And then the Santa stash. I thought that would be perfect. And so here's the Santa stash. And I just used the mustache die cut. Or you can cut it out. But I used our little die cut. Works perfectly. And I actually I'll have to show you later on in a video the little thing I found. Where a lady made a gift box and put this on the front. And the bottom of the gift box using our gift box maker. Flip open the bottom. It looks like their mouth and candy comes out. Too stinking cute. Let me see if I can find real quick the wreath. Here we go. Here's the wreath stamp set. And I don't think it's in this box. Let's just look. You got time, right? Otherwise, you wouldn't be sitting here looking with me. I'll just walk across the room and grab another one. Okay, here we go. There it is there. So this is the stamp set. And here's what I was talking about. When you stamp them, when you cut them out, you make sure this is at the top of your paper. We'll just say this is it. So we're going to die cut that like so. And I'm going to put it at the top of my paper. And then when I go to stamp my piece. Let me get it out of here. Oops, threw it on the floor. Here is the little tab. So I went, so let's say I cut it out, okay. And that's laying there. And then I'm going to put this right back at the top and stamp. It's going to be perfect. And each one has that little tab at the top so you know right where to match it. And I'm hoping that soon Stampin' Up! starts to do that because I really struggle with some of their flower punches. I, it takes me forever to line them up to punch them right. So thanks Stampin' Up! for coming up with that great idea. Well, I guess I probably overwhelmed your brain with all this stuff. Um, you'll have to watch the video maybe a couple times to figure out all of my favorite things because obviously... This is not all of them. Um, but this is just a good start. So thanks, Jennifer McGuire, for that great idea of showing everybody what you like. Because now I'm going to show them what I like. And some of it's what you like, I'm sure. Well, you all have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.